looks like a square, metal square, and then it kind of looks like um, the tag you get in the zipper. Oh, you were right about the metal. It's bronze again. Bronze again. Okay. Um... Your ability isn't endless. It will run out at some point. Hi, I'm... <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief DuPont. Which gives a ghastly sound. We're not going to reproduce that here now. Why is Sam still questioning me? Do I need to bring up Mr. Hedges again? Are you threatening me? Excuse me? Of course not. We just agreed that with the med Simon, stuff like this might get out. Remember? Have you noticed any spirits turning up at the station lately? It's sports day. You have a recognizable knock, Chief Tupin. I'll remember not to answer next time. Do you know Dorota's boyfriend? I've met him once, yes. Just the once? When did you meet him? Unless I've got a body double walking around. Yes, just the once. We talked in confidence. You'll need to ask him if you want the juicy details. Yes, I've forgotten who they are. Oh, Robin. Every day. What do you think, Poe? What do you think this perhaps could represent? The, with the photos um, and the family, so I think there are... Um... Hi, I'm Bronwyn. I'm Bronwyn. Because uh, perhaps um, there are issues. Um... I'm truly sorry about Dorota. I didn't see you here last night. What are you implying? It's just suspicious. Nothing. Sorry. All this talk of the dead makes me very anxious. I'm truly sorry. I didn't really know her. I saw her pictures in the newspaper. Can't remember what for right now. I'm loved. The crying can signify, once again, those negative emotions. You can tell Sam about Birmingham. What did you tell the police you were doing last night? I told them the truth, that I was in my room. I'm not sure if they can fact check it, but it's the only alibi I've got. Kind of wish we'd all stuck together now. When should we do another reading? You already told us. Eight o'clock. Bron, are you okay? You can tell Sam about Birmingham. Well, what can I tell Sam that you haven't already? You know Sam likes a f You're right. Don't say anything. He knows. I don't really know, Sam. But if you're sure, then I guess I'm sure. That already could be a, the beginning of, of finding answers to to that to that um, to the to this. Oh, Bron, I'm so glad you're here. We need to talk. Is something wrong? No one can hear us, right? I mean, I'm assuming this room isn't bugged. Although knowing Violet, there's probably cameras everywhere. You think Violet's a voyeur? Probably. I don't know. She has that look about her, don't you think? Like she knows something she's not letting on. I wouldn't be surprised if there's cameras hidden in the wardrobe. What have you got to hide? Nothing. Though I'd rather she didn't see me dancing around in my underwear. I only do that for people I love. Do you love me? Well, of course I do, Bron. See? And now that's on film. I hope you enjoyed that, Violet. Listen, we need to talk about our alibi. What about our alibi? I know you said it would be better if we said we were together, but lying about your alibi, that's pretty serious. Are you sure it was a good idea? We should do whatever it takes. You're acting like we've got something to hide. Bron, is there something you're not telling me? 
Why do you ask me to lie? Were you really in your room all night? Yes. No. Where were you? Ron, don't mess me around. You're scaring me. I'm just kidding. I was here all I was at Dorota's house. I'm just kidding. I'm not funny. Ate it in her bedroom like she was 13 again, sucking on stolen sauce packets from the school canteen. It wasn't her fault. It was too hard. The gnawing emptiness of the house was bad enough without the gnawing in her stomach. Didn't expect you to come back. Have you contacted Dorota? No. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Really? You actually spoke to her? Did she say anything else? Is she okay? Who killed her? It's hazy. Okay. That's okay. She forgives me. I guess she didn't have time to elaborate. I'm sorry the police ignored our prediction. Do you get on with Dorota's family? Not really. Especially not now. I convinced I got her into the wrong crowd or something. Am I really a bad influence? Yes. No. Thanks, Bronwyn. I, I know it's a bit soon, but maybe we can grab coffee sometime? Just, just to chat about things. No thanks. Yes. That would be nice. No thanks. Well, if you change your mind, I'll be here on my own. Fine. Coffee sometime. I'm sorry, the police. It's okay. Just how did you know? How did you come up with a name and then she's gone? She's not gone. She... How could someone even get into Dorota's bedroom? She's not gone. She's waiting to pass. Waiting to pass? I don't understand. What do you mean, waiting to pass? They haven't even buried her yet. They're probably still doing forensics and horrible things to her. And harder. There are no more soft... Miss Castle. More unexpected pleasures. What did Dorota's boyfriend say about me? I was nowhere near Dorota last night. Sam already told me. You and Lexi are lying for each other. How does Sam know? Sam has very big ears. So it's true then. What did Dorota's boyfriend say about me? Something about a message you wouldn't deliver? Did you want him to be a special friend? Is that why you killed his girlfriend? I didn't kill Dorota. You... I didn't kill... Yeah, yeah, let's do this again. Chief, I didn't kill Dorota. I was in my room. Oh, but you can't prove it, Bronwyn. You're going to jail for a long, long time. Small engraving yeah, on them. What, what kind of objects normally have bells? Cowbells. Hmm, hmm. No? Um, what else has bells? Uh, I want to say a Christmas tree, but I feel... Hello, I'm Violet. I'm Violet. How to invite spirits in. Oh. Had them hanging up at the stage for a few months now. Unless Monroe... I changed your sheets, love. That's impossible. I was in that room praying the entire time. And those sheets have definitely not been changed, I can assure you. Are you trying to frame me? Thanks, Monroe. As always, you've been a great sport today. And we'll be back to... ...is now pronounced.
You're listening to Radio August. Dark Knight. Violet. Sam knows about Mr. Hedges. I'll handle it, Violet. Just get back to the guest house. Unless something else you need? I'm Della Towerblock. Gravity accelerates me towards the pavement. 32 stories below. Tenzin taught me that the secret was to never hit the ground. Hello, I'm Rain. I'm Rain, I'm Rain, okay. Putting around in there, words were spoken, fists. Ah, Rain, can I help? About... Was there a problem? My tap was dripping, but I fixed it. Where were you? Dripping? Maybe I was in my bedroom. That's out of bounds to you. A view to die for. In our idle chatter, I pe- Don't forget the group reading, Ray. By which I mean, if you see Lexi, tell her not to forget the group reading. What's the point? We still don't know what we're dealing with. There's every chance that it could just be a normal human murder. What if it's not a normal human murder? then we have to assume that it's some kind of traveller. Like in Birmingham? Yeah, like in Birmingham. His white cigarette butts, like scattered finger bones. He gave... What do you think of... Oh, I'd totally hit that. Apart from the whole investigating Bromley for murder thing, of course. But that's a minor flaw. I can work around it. I hear Sam likes you too. Really? Well, you know, I'm not surprised. I am a total babe. The side of the Golden Gate Bridge, the sun sliding into the Pacific. The view is breathtaking, but it's still not home. It's onto the wide I dive dreams and nightmares with Poe and Mon hi I'm Lexi oh um <clears throat> I'm Lexi Hi, I... <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief DuPont. Hi, I'm Lexi. Oh, um... <clears throat> I'm Lexi. Different rooms. Different rooms, different areas, different parts of... of... They're all, um, all these different... Dorota had a boyfriend. Oscar, the guy I met this morning. The one I told you about. Yes. What did he want? Answers. Reassurance. Forgiveness. Do you think he killed her? Not considering what he asked me to do. She will... Um, uh, circle of, of, of I feel sad for Oscar. Bronwyn said to stay away from him and the family. We're drawing too much attention to ourselves. We won't be able to finish our job. Job? Are you wearing a wire? You know why we're here. Don't make me say it. Say it. No. Stop being silly. Lena, it sounds like you're worried that you're not living up to your potential. Um, and if I'm honest, I think you're also playing... ...perhaps to be... But Lena, the thing is, 
If you can wish it, you can do it. Thank you for your dreams. You're listening. I'm Oscar. Is there anything else I can do? From the Jesse Chin. Oscar Wainwright, what a surprise. Face in front of me. It took a lot of alternately plunging and trying to saw. Blood ripped under her chin. As part of her head tipped forward and free. I expected to see a dripping cross section of... Oscar? What are you doing here? I want to help. I know. We've already talked about this. You said you'd get into Bronwyn Castle's room somehow and have a look around. Why? How? I don't know. Maybe ask if you can go around. Women like vulnerable men. Do they? I don't know. Do I look like vulnerable men? Just do whatever you have to, Oscar. I've got to concentrate on some other leads. So, uh, you can go now? I was the messenger. Yes, I understand now. I'm the messenger. It is the... Set free. You're listening to Radio August, Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. Vanessa, read by Tex Mer- and damsels in distress. That's what it took to pay for that alpaca couch she's bleeding out on. I've done a bad thing and it's only when- It's seven o'clock and here's the latest August update. Chief DuPont of August Police is urging residents to be vigilant tonight following the brutal murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Whilst he stresses there is no immediate threat to the community at large, residents should be on the lookout until the killer is in police custody. Miss Shaw was found strangled in her bedroom home last night. Poe, I heard she was found by her mother. Truly awful. Mother caught me up to all sorts of mischief in my bedroom. Also in the news, emergency services were called to the crossroads at Grange Avenue and Church Street following a collision between two cars. There are no reports of any serious injuries, but you might want to take a different route for now. Oh no. It's going to be one of those nights, Poe. Stay with me, doll. I'll keep you safe. I'm not going anywhere. That's seven o'clock with Poe and Monroe. Holding the gun but I quickly stuff it down the back of my pants. It's hot. Officer Peters looks me up and down. She's hot. Sorry, we're closed. Come back tomorrow or make an appointment online. Yes, uh, what do you want? The Shores. Oh, you mean that girl who got killed? What was her name? Dorothy? I see a lot of faces in my studio, but I'm not good with names. Wait. Dorota, Dorota, I remember now. For the August Chronicle, uh, she won some sort of award. I remember her cello. It kept reflecting the flash and ruining the shot. No, I went to her house along with the reporter. It's better with these human interest stories to capture them in a natural habitat. If you ask me to drive there without my sat-nav, no. No, actually, I've been running a special offer on portraits since she came in for a studio session. Wait there. As you can see, there's photos here, her and the cello. 
hair. Now this one's in colour. Beautiful hair. Oh, legs wrapped around. <laughs> Another one here. Oh, hang on. Do you see what I see? I think she's just a very attractive girl. That's all. Here. I'm usually here most nights. Only the roof rats. What do you mean? I don't think I like what you're implying, detective. Is that all? Friends? Yes. I know Violet very well. Violet takes it very well, actually. I like him like that. With a frosty exterior comes a soft, warm center. I'm sorry my analogy wasn't explicit enough for you. Yes, we have sex. It's by Chris Hoppenbrowers, read by The Raw Geek. Dimitri No? Who's that? Okay, so this Zap guy was connected to Dorota. He took pictures of her. Were they sleeping together? You can tell me if she was. I don't care. Look, I mean, if you're going around asking all these questions, if you find out anything like that, I want you to tell me. Thanks, Sam. Don't let me mourn if I shouldn't. Who what? Who do I photos? She sent some private photos to me by phone. Do you mean them? I get it now. That's why you're asking about Zach Weston. Maybe I should pay him a visit. Dimitri kept reminding the others, and himself, that they were right. If you have anything else on Zach Weston, let me know. And I'm all for a good boudoir picture, but who are they for? There's definitely a strong connection between those two then. Well, unless they were for Oscar, I don't know. Unless there's someone else about to come out of the woodwork. That's what he says, but no one can back him up. He's on my radar now. I, I think you're supposed to tell me that. If he was taking photos of Dorota, maybe he fell for her? And the feeling wasn't mutual. Artists have muses, apparently. Wish I had one. Zach Weston says he was in his studio last night. Zach says he's sleeping with Violet, which I doubt. Zach did other photo sessions with Dorota. Boudoir. I wonder what else he's not telling us. Rain still says he was praying in his room, alone. Bronwyn and Lexi lied about being together last night. You're still following up Birmingham. Keep me posted. Yeah, he mentioned the word traveller to me, but he's nothing. Oscar's in the clear. He was playing football last night. He said that Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet. Not many people would know that. That's it. Right, that seemed to go on for several kilometres into the ground. His edges were most unusual, in that they were astonishingly smooth down to a molecular level. Ugh, do we really have to? Is that what he calls it? I'm not sure what we have, Sam, and I'm not sure how much longer we're going to have it. Being with Zack is no paradise, I can tell you. It's like his reproductive genes rule every decision he makes. I just want someone who will hold the door open for me. 
bring me tea in bed. Dimitri asked as they went over their plans. The three other scientists looked at him question. <sighs> Sam, look, I, I can't talk right now. I'm doing phone readings. Got to pay for a job somehow. Lexi's locked in till late too. I, I can sort you out afterwards, yeah? Asked Dr. Whitfield, pretending to be offended. Do you have another suggestion? I met him yesterday, doing the rounds, looking for reading work. Actually, he... Oh no. Um, he did mention Dorota. He said there was this girl he was planning to meet up with. Said she was alone every Monday night because her parents go to the cinema. Do you know what that means? It was Dorota Shaw. Fine, Sam. Birmingham. Mercury took us to Birmingham. We didn't know what for. We never really know what for. But we turned up. It started with a girl, Ginny. She was South African. I only mention it because that was its thing. Yeah, we didn't know at the time, but in hindsight, it was after South African girls. Three to be exact. The traveler wanted three. You should ask Bronwyn. She's the one that knows about rights. I just know it normally involves three, and all three share a common attribute. I guess you might call them demons, in as much as they can get inside us. They come from other worlds. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Quantum physics is real, didn't you know? <laughs> Um, there are many universes. In technical terms, a traveller is a trans-dimensional being far more superior to us, in as much as they can choose which reality to hang out in. We just get this one. Yes, disturbingly. It's actually a lot more complicated than that. Um, they choose a reality slash universe where they actually evolve to become the person they're possessing. So they jump in a few million years before our timelines intersect. They can't just jump into someone. It takes a few hours for that. They make the decision before they travel, which is why we can catch them. Yes, probably. The tarot doesn't just sat nav us to normal murders. He wasn't sure why he suddenly felt the need to narrate. He could almost convince himself that he was doing it for the recording device on his arm, or in the... We've got to stop meeting like this. Seriously though, Sam, I'm working. Can't it wait? Just give me to wait, okay? Some light, he said as he turned on the small lamp on his helmet. Dimitri slowly rotated on the rope to inspect all sides of the tunnel. Only now did it occur to him how now. Hi, I'm. <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief DuPont. Hold on. There's some scratches here. Did I. No, they're not scratches. It's. It appears to be some sort of. Prepare to make history. You're going to have a field day with this. I'll... Dimitri, fully aware that he was suspended above unknown heights, his belt when the lamp on his helmet suddenly went out. This is not just probes that end up malfunctioning down here. Chief? Again? Did Dorota have any on- She didn't really use any social networks. Didn't have the time. Mainly just cello, cello, cello. Go to any clubs or group? Do you have access to her? No, she didn't email much. She checked the messages on her phone. What is it you're looking for? Anything that helps solve the murder. Okay, that makes sense. 
etching on a pencil had a soothing quality to it. Hello. I know you. You're the police chief. I understand that you knew Dorota Shaw. We met briefly, yes. I freelanced for the August Chronicle, and they did a story about her. Was that the first time you met her? The scholarship to Juilliard? That's right. We exchanged a few pleasantries. I happened to mention my portrait services, so she built a session with me. When was this? A few weeks ago. What type of photos do you take? For the paper? Record shots that any idiot with a phone can take. My studio is where the magic happens. Mainly portraiture, but I dabble in other areas. Boudoir photography? Sometimes, if that's what the client wants. Are you asking for yourself, or...? It's for the case. <sighs> Don't be facetious. I'm deadly serious. Most of my clients are female, but I wouldn't like to assume. Exhausted. He hadn't told anyone about the whispers in the dark for fear of being mocked, or worse, being declared mentally unfit. He... Hello, I'm Violet. I'm Violet. Hi, I'm... <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief Dupont. Hello, I'm Violet. I'm Violet. Dr. Utani was able to create a rough translation of the word, or rather... Punishment for the wicked or curious. And all agreed how disturbing it was that, to the civilization, see, was a concept to be closely associated with wickedness, something to be punished. As he contemplated the day's events, Dimitri quickly fell asleep. He couldn't wait to go back home. He woke later that night and switched on the light next. Oh, well, hello, gorgeous. I came over last night, but you weren't here. Well, that explains why there was no answer when I called you. I was definitely here. Did you? Everyone in town's heard. She's a local celebrity now. Local celebrity? Famous for being murdered? Or shall she be remembered anyway? Carefully made his way to the door. He searched for the handle, opened the door, and stumbled into the hallway. Help! He stammered. Somebody help! No one answered. Hello, I'm Rain. I'm Rain. I'm Rain. Okay. Once, but as he listened closer, he noticed another presence in the room. You're listening to Radio August. Dark Nights with Owen Munro. Nightmare. You have a lovely guest house. It is quaint, isn't it? It's all my parents had when they died. We are literally sitting in my inheritance. How did your parents die? Father died first. Heart attack. They found him in the freezer when mother died. She had a pulmonary embolism. I didn't really talk to them much. Freezer? Yes. She kept him in the chest freezer because she didn't want to be alone. Stored him perfectly. Still use it today. Put the car in park, and I just sat there. Recorded voice from the now crackling speakers were my only company as I simply sat there. Head was screaming. 
No one saw. Rain. <laughs> I'm surprised to see you here. I take it you know about Dorota already. All that stuff we talked about yesterday. That's strictly between you and me. What stuff? That's the spirit. Now, I think it's best if we don't get caught speaking to each other. Overcautious, I'm sure, but I think it's for the best nonetheless. Maybe we can get together for a lad's night out after this is all blown over. Eh? Okay. Great. Well, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Everything still screamed at me to flee. The feeling in your gut when you know something awful is going to happen and you need to get the fuck out of Dodge before you get caught up in it was raging in me. But here I was, unfastening my seatbelt and making myself open the car door. The interior lights came on and the... I'm Zach Weston. Just sharpening my powers of persuasion. Breathing, but in all honesty, I think I was holding my breath, afraid to- Zach! What are you doing here? Look quick, don't let anyone see you. Why don't you want anyone to see me? What? You're the one who said we shouldn't be seen together. What are you doing here? I wanted to make sure we were still okay. What did you do? What did you say to Sam? Everyone's talking about Dorota. Are you happy Dorota's dead? Everyone I know. But I suppose people like that attract trouble. People like what? Home wreckers. Anyway, I hope you didn't just come here to talk about Dorota. Are you happy Dorota's dead? I didn't say that. But we both know what Dorota was like. She practically threw herself at you. She didn't throw herself at me. Don't play games with me, Zack. You know how insecure I get. My hand over hers, reassuring her as she lightly I spoke to her. Hang on, I'm going- Zack, let me stop you there. Um, you are one creepy fellow. Now, I, I don't know what you had going on with Dorota, but I don't want anything to do with it. Do not come back here, please. Face. Her breath was becoming much more shallow and her grip weakened. The operator answered after the second ring. Hello, what is your emergency? It was dark, I didn't There and I hit her and she's twisted weird and my calm was unraveling. Sir, calm down. I could hear her typing what I was telling her. I'm Oscar. Is there anything else I can do? The blacktop rippled in into a deeper and richer blue, like, like, like satin bed sheets. In my car, I was, I stopped and blinked a few times as I sat up and- Sensing the thing with Bronwyn went badly. Why did you put me up to it? I need all hands on deck. You're a hand, at least I thought you were. Nothing happened. Never mind. At least you tried. Is there anything else I can- No, you've done enough. I'll keep up my end of the bargain. Make those speeding tickets go away, though. 
technically, you'd have more points than a hedgehog if I kept them. And if I do catch you speeding in August again, Oscar, instant ban. Capiche? Yes. Yes. Down in the doorway and cried. My car was there. It was pristine. It was just a nightmare. The familiar red and <laughs> this should be a fun thing to explain. I pulled myself to my feet and headed to My stomach dropped as I opened the door. Moments since I'd made the call. There was no way they made it. It's 8 o'clock and time for another August update. Police investigating the death of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw have said there's no evidence to connect her boyfriend to the murder. Chief DuPont's statement was delivered in response to speculation from local residents that it was a crime of passion. Miss Shaw's strangled body was found by her mother around 10 p.m. last night in what the chief is calling a puzzling crime. I can't believe people are gossiping already, Poe. It's always the person closest to the victim, isn't that what they say? But that poor boy. A reminder also that due to the murder, this weekend's Tulip Festival has been postponed. New dates will be announced soon. The weather's getting worse tonight with heavy rain forecast. So if you're heading out, you might want to take a jacket. Or a cap. Or wear the jacket in the cab. That's 8 o'clock with Poe and Monroe. Sam. I've got news. Uh, we've done a reading. The Five of Swords. That's the same card as yesterday. Let's hope it's not the Knight of Wands. This doesn't look good. It's fine. This happens all the time. There are 78 cards in a deck. The same ones come up a lot. I get it. But we drew the exact same cards yesterday. What are the odds of putting all three again? One in 474,552. I know. I get asked a lot. Bet it's a ten of swords. happening again. There's going to be another murder. Then Lexi did her thing, and now we have a name. Ellis Munro. Sam. Let me bring you up to speed. I, I know what you're going to say, and I don't want to hear it. I've arrested Bronwyn. She's named a second victim, and as far as I'm concerned, the safest thing to do right now is have her behind bars. Those tarot readers have been doing my head in all day, talking to me like I'm a suspect, asking ridiculous questions, and then denying they've seen me at all. So what's done is done. If anything, I've just made Alice safer. You can go cover before I can aim. She weaves her way around wrecked cars, drawing even closer. Sam, do me a favour, go easy on Violet. If we need to get anything out of her, let me deal with it. She'll open up to me. Why? I'm assuming that's just a gut feeling. If you actually knew who the murderer was, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Look, I see you're starting to care for these people already, but Violet's been watching them like a hawk. If you can convince her, you convince me. We've got a new target, Ellis Munro. Rain still says he was praying in his room, alone. Bronwyn and Lexi lied about being together last night. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got that in hand. Zach Weston says he was in his studio last night. No one corroborates. 
Oscar's in the clear. He was playing football last night. He said that Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet. Not many people would know that. That's it. And no. And Monroe. Monroe. Everyone knows her. She's a local radio star here. Couple of times, promo shoots, that sort of thing. Look, I know where you're going with this. Yes, I asked her if she'd do a boudoir session with me. She turned me down, no big deal. No, I got the photos that I needed anyway. Interesting, so it's an unresolved issue. Very I mean, good. Something... You must be Sam. I just got off the phone with Chief DuPont. I can't believe it. First Dorota, now me. Yes, we were friends. I hadn't known her for long, only a few weeks. We met at the gala. I was hosting and she was playing the cello, you know? I guess we talked for a little while and then she asked me for a drink after the show. After we'd had a few drinks, she invited me back to her house. I thought we were just going to chat, watch a movie, that sort of thing. Then she kissed me. I was so shocked. She was so attractive. So... I kissed her back. This is just between us, right? We fooled around. I don't have many friends, Sam. Everyone thinks because I'm on the radio, I have tons of friends, so nobody ever approaches me. I get lonely. But Dorota was my friend, and I liked making her happy. Poe? And Dorota, people I say hi to. I have thousands of followers and subscribers and they keep me feeling warm when I'm down, but they're not friends. I do get the odd stalker, but that isn't something anyone wants. Oscar, yeah. She was a bit confused. When we started seeing each other, she didn't she didn't like him touching her anymore. I didn't mind, but she did. So I told her if he wanted to get sexual, then maybe she should try something else. I said some guys like to watch, so tell him it would be sexy if he could look, but he couldn't touch. As far as I know, it worked. The killer was in her wardrobe? What? Well, then it had to be Oscar. He's the only one it could be. That doesn't make any sense. Then she was seeing someone else? No. Someone she knew. Knew she'd be alone? A stalker? I don't think so. We were very discreet. It was more fun that way. No. Sorry. I did have a strange dream last night, though. I was a Hollywood actress, and there were hundreds of magazines and newspapers all piling up on the red carpet, and they all had my picture on the front cover. But the red carpet wasn't carpet. It was a pool of blood, and it seeped through all the pages. Then I woke up. What do you think that means, Sam? I don't know what. I mean, I'm anxious now. Maybe, maybe it was predicting Dorota's death. 
or mine. That sounds reassuring. I hope it's not just words, Sam. You've kind of just asked about Dorota since you got here. Not very well. He's done a few shoots of me and Poe. To promote the show. No. Zack keeps asking, but I just don't want to. Not for him. But Dorota did. She gave me the pictures as a gift. She looked amazing. We're co-hosts on the radio. Oh, sorry. You know that already. Um, we've been partners for two years now. He's a good friend. He's on air at the moment, but he'll be finished at 8.30. On air? We both were. We broadcast live hourly news reports. It's how we keep our funding. Sam, you forgot your phone. Rises. Dreams. And nightmares. With Poe and Monroe. So, Helen's written in with her dream. And she said that I was a caterpillar, slowly nibbling on a pair of purple curtains in my bedroom. Excellent work. Gold star for you. <laughs> oh, hello. This is my goddaughter, Sophia. She's only nine, and she's a maths genius. Hello. <laughs> I have to pop to my room to get something. Be nice to her while I'm gone. Otherwise, I might have to smother you in your sleep. What's your name? I'm Sophia. Pleased to meet you. You want to know a secret? Violet was taken by aliens in their ship. She doesn't want anyone to know. Sorry about that. Sophia, your mother will be here for you soon, so run along and wait. <laughs> now, Sam, how can I help you? She has a wicked imagination for her age. Do you think you're sitting here now? Perception is reality, Sam. I needed to confide in someone, so I told Chief Dupont. Just Chief Dupont. And now you, apparently. What do you know? I'm not sure that changes my mind. We're talking about a possible murderer, Sam. Of course! Poe and Monroe. She's on the radio. <laughs> yes, I believe I did. She was here once for something. I don't remember now. Why are you talking about this again? You understand every time you mention abduction, it opens up a vault of crushing memories that I'd rather stay locked up. No. Not even the moon. <sighs> I don't really want to. About a month ago, the guest house was empty and I was alone in my bedroom. All I could hear was dripping. A cold tap. Drip. 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 And then it began. 
I could smell iron, a strong metallic smell. Then I could taste it on my tongue. And then weightlessness, like time and space had stopped. That was the first time they took me. It's happened five times, even on clozapine. Get that strange aura, then I'm gone. I tests for epilepsy, amongst other things. But all the scans were normal. No. I have certain flashbacks. difficult to explain. I'm stuck in the wall of an enormous room made from these wooden vines, except the vines slowly move and drip with pain. My head is pushed out like I'm a trophy. If I look to my side, there are others, heads, all prisoners, being experimented on. They rearrange us like decorations. Suck us backwards into the darkness and then thrust us back through the wall. And when they return me home, I'm broken. Cuts. Bruises. Memories. Memories.